Now, as negotiations are underway, we know that you have questions, and because of that, we are okay. interviewing okay. Uh, Columbus right. City School Superintendent, yep. Dr. Talisa Dixon. She decided to right. take some time out. Dr. Dixon, if you could just come over here and join us for a second. Um, yes. First of all, I just want to thank you for taking time out to talk thank to you. us. Thank you. Thank you for know having it's, me. Yeah, I know it's busy. First yeah. day of school. You know, parents are frustrated. Teachers are frustrated. The union's frustrated. The board is frustrated. Obviously, this is not how anyone wanted to start the first yeah. day of school. Tell me, at the end of the day, you're all educators and one collective group looking out for the kids. Why yeah. can't you guys reach a deal at this point? What's the holdup? Well, you know, there are a lot of concerns that both sides have and that's part of the negotiation process. Um, and that I am very optimistic that those issues will be resolved as soon as possible. So they are working mm -hmm. to on some resolutions so that we can get our teachers back in the classroom with our students. That's mm -hmm. what we want, our teachers back in the classroom with our students. Our okay. students need their teachers, and we recognize that. Absolutely, and yeah. I know everyone's got the best interests of the children. Yeah. You don't get into this line of business if you right. don't care about children. Right. Do you think, is the sticking point that is causing the most holdup here, the fact about about repair of the buildings and the fact that the language is not in the current contract that the uh, board is proposing to, I guess, give a timeline on what they're going to fix and when they're going to fix it? Yeah, well, I can't speculate on what the sticking point is. Mm -hmm. However, I will say that do we do recognize that we have some building concerns that we must address. Mm -hmm. We must ensure that our buildings are conducive to learning. Mm -hmm. That learning environment is important, important for our students and our teachers. And the board has been committed to doing that. We have allocated funds mm -hmm. to ensure that those projects are being done, but we also recognize there are some supply chain issues mm -hmm. that we're dealing with but we are committed we have the funds allocated mm -hmm. and I am very optimistic that we're going to get this this done now the funds that are allocated is this the district's ESSER money because yes. that was some 400 million dollars in COVID relief yes. uh, to help the schools can that money be used to fix buildings and fix the HVAC and the AC and absolutely and we've also we've allocated um, for over 40 million dollars thus far mm -hmm. and we have another of a little over 40 million dollars that we're going to allocate. So the district in total has mm -hmm. allocated at least um, um, earmark rather $88 million of our ESSER funds mm -hmm. for our building repairs. Do you think that's the frustration that maybe the union has because the funds are there and the work's not getting done? Yeah, I'm sure that's probably part of it, but there's a process, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to, you get vendors and then you have um, supply chain issues. Um, so the process is not as smoothly mm -hmm. as we would want, but it's not our process. It's a process that is given, provided for us that we have to utilize. Yeah. Um, but I understand the frustration of our mm -hmm. teachers, our parents, even our students. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, I had a Zoom meeting with my student ambassadors mm -hmm. who stated their frustrations because they want to be in class today yeah. with their with their teachers and with extracurriculars and sports on hold it is yeah. what would you say to the students what do you want to say to them you know, out there if they're just watching and they're sitting yeah. at home disappointed I they know didn't get the right practice? right I say to our students I I understand um, your, your superintendent and all of your, your your leaders are working on your behalf. Mm -hmm. We know it's important that they are in the classroom with mm -hmm. their students. I'm sorry, with their teachers. Mm -hmm. That's important. Right. And I'm very optimistic that we're going to find a solution very soon. Okay, because you're yeah. without 40, what, 4,500 teachers right now on Yeah, strike. that we need. Yeah. We need our teachers in the classroom okay. with our students. That is That is very important.